On the other side of the world, Las Vegas is putting on the biggest event in U.S. sports. This year's Super Bowl pits teams from San Francisco and Kansas City against each other for American football's championship. But the clash will feature another formidable force in the form of Taylor Swift. She's been attracting global attention onto this uniquely American event. And the pop star isn't even the star starring in the halftime show. In a metropolis once known as Sin City, the biggest sin heading into Sunday evening's Super Bowl is not knowing that this guy, number 87, is the boyfriend of Taylor Swift. Number 87 has a name, Travis Kelsey, a star in American football terms for the Kansas City Chiefs and a star for answering repeated questions about his love life. Why do you think everyone's so fascinated with you two? Um, I think uh, the values that we stand for and just, uh, you know, who we are as people. Kelsey's support extends to Taylor Swift fans, Swifties half a world away. Tokyo hosted the last of four sold-out concerts Saturday evening. I hadn't really watched American football until now, but because Taylor's boyfriend plays, I finally watched it. The question on so many lips after this last gig in Tokyo, will a private plane get her back in time to, as she has in the past, join other players' girlfriends, wives, and family for the game? She should make it. And that's good news even for those who don't count themselves as Swifties. She will be in the house, in the building for the Super Bowl, but uh, I mean, I love it. <laughs> I think her attending will bring a new eye to the sport. I think there will be a lot of women who will probably shift their attention to football. We should all be so lucky that we'd have a significant other wanted to support us in our job, right? Viva! The Super Bowl hardly needs the additional hype offered by a pop culture romance, but Sin City, Las Vegas, isn't about to turn away from the attention. Ronce A. Sangbido is a pop culture commentator from Washington, D.C. I asked him who is the biggest winner in this love affair, the NFL or Taylor Swift? But the NFL is the biggest winner by far. Taylor Swift has generated over $330 million in brand value since she started attending the games last fall. And so definitely, I think, you know, if we're, if we're, if we're trying to, you know, enumerate by far, the NFL is, is, is winning the most. September 24th, 2023 was the biggest day for transactions across all 32 franchises. And that was the mm. first day Taylor Swift attended a game that was televised. So, I mean, the Taylor Swift effect is real and I'm sure that they're all just laughing to the back right now. Goodness gracious. I, I, I wanna talk about uh, conspiracy theories. There are allegations the fix is in for a Chiefs victory. Swift's boyfriend, of course, Travis Kelsey, plays for the Chiefs. And the alleged purpose to somehow tip the scale of the upcoming election in favor of incumbent President Joe Biden to the detriment of Donald Trump. Can you explain what in heaven's name is this all about? I don't think there's enough time in this segment to fully explain. <laughs> I'll just say that that's a conspiracy theory that's, <laughs> that started in the nether regions of the internet. And I think people, I think the, there's certain demographics on, on the right wing of American politics that have had a weird stake in Taylor Swift since the infamous 2009 moment with Kanye West. And so when she exposed herself as having progressive politics, I think there's been a lot of dis disappointment and I think they're bitter about it. And this is just their way of acting out and reacting. And so, yes, I don't think it's something that uh, we should take seriously.